beauties and gents welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I prep for my application for the nails um, the previous video I showed you guys how I took my nails off this will show you how I prep my nails so the tools that you will need are nail tips double-sided tape this I got from Dollar General you can get it from any store five q-tips a five fingernail holder which I got from AliExpress Elmer's glue a nail file of course, nail polish. Of course, you don't need to use this many, but I chose to use this because of the design that I have. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this time I decided to use clear tips that I ordered from AliExpress. And I'll probably do another video that goes in depth with what I ordered, when I ordered, and how. But here, as you can see, I'm taking different tips and I'm matching them up to my nails. And then I'm sitting them right down at the bottom where that red circle is. I'm sitting them down there and I'm pairing them. And after I find and match all the tips with each finger, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to file the sides so that it rounds out and it matches my actual natural nail bed. And please excuse the weird angles. It was kind of hard to try to film and file. I had to put my arm weird, but I tried to capture it as best as I could so you guys can get a general idea of how I do my nail preparation. So I take my time and I go through each individual nail tip and match them up to each individual nail bed and try to file them down so that the end of the tip matches with the end of my natural nail bed so that the fit will be more natural looking and, and not like bulky or too big or oversized like some fake nails do when you apply them. After I get done filing all of the nails, the next part are the Q-tips. And I know y'all are probably saying, what are you doing with Q-tips? Well, this is part of my preparation. So I start with one end, the one that's kind of the most loose, and I begin to take off the cotton completely off, off of one end. After that, I take one of the nails. I normally start with the thumb or pinky, it doesn't matter. Just whatever end of the hand I start with, then the rest of the nails follow suit in order. So I take one of the nails and as you can see here, I'm gonna put it on the table. I'm sorry about this next time. I tried to have brighter light, but you still couldn't see it because they're clear. Next time I'll just move my camera around. But I take the nail, I flip it over onto its back, and I put um, smaller than a pea, like just a drop of glue, Elmer's glue on the back. And then I stick the end that I took the cotton off and I attach that to the back. And I do that to, I'll do that to five because I, I have an actual nail holder that I'm gonna do the other five. I would normally do it with all 10, um, but because I have a nail holder, I only do five. After I transferred it over onto the uh, paper towel, I then put another drop on top just to kind of seal it. And um, in doing this, I leave it sitting for 
really an hour. The back says 35 minutes to a day, but if you leave it on for an hour, an hour and a half, it'll dry. Put the almost speed things up and I decided to use scissors instead of just pulling them off because you can cut it and then just pull it off and it, it begins to unravel and as you can see in the video I'm doing that to each nail and I am applying the q-tip stick onto the back of the nail after a drop and then put another drop on top to secure it and then I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour Okay, so for the next five nails, um, I'm trying out this product. It's a five finger nail holder. Only bought one. Um, and as you can see, I already taped one nail on top of it. And so instead of having the tape go horizontal like I have it here, the next time I'll have it going vertical along the nail because I feel that it will stick on better. Um, so for future practices, you guys can try to do a, a vertical, put it along vertical instead of horizontal like I did there. What you do is you grab a piece of double sided tape now what I first tried to do is I tried to stick the tape on the actual nail but I found that it was easy um, it's easier to put place the tape actually actually on the nail holder and then stick the nail on top of that and I'll do that to all five of these nails which this process is 10 times faster than using the glue And here you can see the finished product. Basically all the nails are taped on and they're ready for paint. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the other five nails that I did. These are two different methods. You can use the Q-tip method or the five finger nail holder method if you want to. Um, so now I'm just gonna wait for the nails with the Q on the Q-tip to dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so after about an hour, what I begin to do is start off with a base coat, which is white because I want the bright, vibrant colors to pop even more. So I just begin putting on the white base coat. After I put on the base coat, I begin to put on the colors that I want. And normally, when I paint my nails, I normally do two coats of every color, unless it's very, very sheer, then you do two, three, four. However you may need um, to get the exact uh, color that you want, how opaque you want it. Um, but for the colors that I had, there, they were pretty opaque, so I only needed about two coats of the color. And what I did was after I finished painting all of these nails, I let them sit for normally about a day or two. It, it just depends on when I want to actually apply my nails. Sometimes I kind of like giving my nails a rest in between taking them off, prepping my nails, and then actually putting them on. Um, in between time, I paint my toes the same color as the 
dominant color and the dominant color here as you can tell is going to be this bright pink since I'm going to have that on most of my nails and then on my ring finger I'm going to have the purple and then on the pointer finger I'm going to have the white that is going to also be um, dusted with gold on top of it. So as you can see, I'm basically finished. I think I just have to put the top coat on and from there, let them rest. And as you see here, I'm just putting on the finishing touches for the nails, the top coat, making sure I've capped them all. And I didn't really do that much filing in this video because I already like the shape of the nails. So um, all I did was match the back of the nail to my nail bed. And in the next clip that you're about to see, I'm basically holding up and showing you what the finished product looks like. And I'm gonna let those sit for about two or for about two days before I actually apply them. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I will be back with another video within two weeks. And in that video, I'll be showing you how I actually apply my nails. The technique that, half of the technique that I'm showing you guys in this video, um, is from another young lady and I'll make sure to post her video down below in the next video. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye.